What's another feature of the whole behavior genetics approach? Here's another one. If you see traits that occur, behavioral traits, in the absence of any learning, in the absence of any environmental experience, in the absence of anything that can count as being non-genetic, if you see that, you're looking at a genetic influence. And what are the examples that are always given? The fact that all babies all over the universe start smiling, and they use the exact same set of muscles, and they always start smiling socially around roughly the same age. And what you also see, I don't want to know how these were done, but these classic photographs that you can get filming of kids in utero, I don't know what you know, fiber optics, something or other was doing that, but the demonstration that fetuses smile, fetuses smile during the third trimester, this is a motoric pattern that is shared among all humans. Okay, well, social smiling, you know, you see the flaw there, which is that is very subject to shaping of behavior. You are three months old and you're watching all this social smiling going on around you and how the mannequins they have at home are nowhere near as interesting as the animated faces there and you sort of try it out yourself. What you see is the exact same developmental time course for smiling among congenitally blind babies. Babies who never see anybody smiling. So you see the motor pattern here being something that you know, is arguably fairly universal and occurring in the absence of any sort of training how you go about smiling. The other example that's always used is with congenitally deaf babies. And what you get there is another universal, which is beginning to babble at the exact same age that hearing kids begin to babble, and the same argument being made there. Of course, you have a very uphill task there of ruling out any environmental similarities. Because once again, once again, an area that has been utterly underappreciated in this whole field is the whole world of prenatal environmental effects. And the theme that's going to come out of that is environment does not begin at birth and some environmental effects prenatally are enormously influential forever after. And if you showed up on the scene one second after that individual was born, all of the tools of modern behavior genetics would tell you that you were looking at a genetic trait where it is one instead that was brought about by the prenatal environment.